If you're at Warwick Uni, you'll be quick to realise we're close to both Leamington Spa and Coventry. And that's where we'll be showing you the best places to eat, drink and shop. We'll be checking out Coventry and we'll be living it up in Leamington. First off, getting here. The National Express 11 and 12 buses run every five minutes from the University to Coventry Bus and Rail Station and back. So it's really convenient for you to get here. And for Leamington Spa, jump on the Unibus. Want to get those big name brands? Then Coventry is where you need to be, especially here on the Upper Precinct. Here's where you get your fashion fix of River Island, Topshop and many more. So this is West Orchard's shopping centre, which has loads of different shops you can get stuff from. But best of all, if you're looking to grab a bite, head up to the second floor where there's a huge variety of food outlets. The lower precinct is more central to the other shops in Coventry and is undercover. Perfect to keep shopping even when it starts to rain. Coventry does have some independent fashion stores like Kong & Wish, but if you want some real independent shopping, you need to head to... The Leamington Spa. Leamington Spa is a lot smaller than Coventry, but it has all your independent shops and hidden boutique treasures. This is the Leamington Spa's Royal Prior Shopping Centre. It's got all your high street brands like Topshop and Gap. I think the shopping centre is like a perfect mix. Like it's got clothes, accessories, music, everything is still neat. Definitely, I'm just going to pop in and get a few essentials. Right off the parade, Leamington's got some great vintage and jewellery shops. Also, it's one of the best places to get your hair done. As well as Lem, there's also Earlsdon, which is between the uni and Coventry. It's got everything you'd need, whether you fancy a coffee, need to do some food shopping, or need to visit the bank. Back at Coventry, we're here in Coventry Cathedral, an incredible building with an amazing background. If you visit one place in Coventry, make sure it's here. This tapestry is actually one of the largest in Europe, and that figure between Jesus' feet is actually five feet tall. Wow, that's even taller than me. Leamington Spa also has its own sites, including here in Jepson Garden. One thing Lem's great for is eating out. You've got your usual chains like Wagamama and Zizi, and some really cool cafes like Café Rouge. If you're looking to spend a little bit more money, then head to Bill's, which will do fantastic pub food. If you're after some Thai food, head down to Elephant. And for French food, Elle vous, Bistro Pierre. Back in Coventry, you'll find the same mix of cuisines, but this time you'll find them all in one place. Beast Junction is where you can get all-you-can-eat Chinese and Indian food. And the best part is, if you flash your student card when paying the bill, you get 10% off. Although Leamington's smaller than Coventry, it's still a great night out. We've got some great places to go on a night out, like Kelsey's, Duke and Snack. For a cheaper night out, Coventry's the place for you. Home to places like Rosie Malone's, Kaz Bar and the Cello Nightclub, Coventry is the perfect place for a cheap night out with your mates. Hey, how was Lem? It was really good. Right, so going around the table, what's the favourite part of your city? Because I'm pretty sure you can't beat 80p shots at Kaz Bar. Well, I think mine would be Feast Junction. The food was good. You had Chinese, Indian, Western food. It was great. And it was all-you-can-eat buffet too, so that was, that was good. I'm going to have to say uh, Smack, because obviously Tuesdays and Thursday nights are probably the best nights around. What I love about Leamington is that it's small, but it's got everything I need, especially good shopping in Royal Briars. If you want more information on anything you've seen today, visit browser.co.uk forward slash Warwick.